welcome, welcome to our Hello! Session Feast at Home Sunday Tagli Sessions. Yay! Welcome! Magandang <laughs> hapon! Parang, parang hindi na nagkakaridigan. Oy, kamusta kayo dyan? <laughs> Ganun diba sa probinsya, magkakala mo, magkalapit lang yung pala, di ba? Kabilang baryo na yung ano, sigaw mo. Oy! Ito nila ko dito. Hey, Tony! Baitan, baitan, baitan ka, baitan. Ay, baliktad ako, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay! Happy to be here. Woo! Happy to be here. <laughs> high five, high five! Ayan. Anyway, uh, huwag niyo po kami masyadong uh, para nangibago kayo sa amin. Ito po ay buong araw namin ginawa, kaya pagbigyan yeah. niyo kami ni Brother Tony, <laughs> Daniel Suyala, and Coach J.C. Libiran here. Yay! Grabe, Coach. Grabe. So blessed, no? We are excited oh, yeah. again to hear God's message this afternoon. Sa mga nanonood ngayon, thank you so much for joining us, not only here in the sa Pilipinas, but sa buong mundo. Grabe. Yes, thank you. and thank you. please do let us know kung saan po ang location ninyo. Type in the chat box, no? Alimbawa, di ba? Jay Silibira, Valenzuela City. Ayun, Brother Tony, Valenzuela, Makati City. Akala ko sa iyo, Malibiran City. <laughs> oh, Malibiran City, no? Kung may... <laughs> Anyway, pero may biliran, may biliran province. No? Anyway. Yeah, oh, biliran meron, di ba? We want to say hi to our early birds here. Hi, Rock. Yes. Ayan, si Lydia as well from Ibus Cavite. Ibus and Cavite. Kamaya, definitely, babaha pa ng comments yan. So, please yes. uh, feel free no, to uh, chat and uh, comment. No, Join in the conversation. This is not just between me and Tony, but we're really excited because there's so much in store for them. No, Brother Tony, lalong-lalo na, no? Of course, no, we're just warming them up for the celebration of the Mass. Oh, wow. And after that, there'll be a powerful worship. We're going to come back as well as we you know, do the introduction, prepare them as well for our special discussion. Nako, ayan, excited yan, no? Excited ako dyan. Yes. Yay! We have a special message from Brother Bo Sanchez. Tapos, Ooh. ayan, magkaroon ng talagang uh, interaction among our Feast Bay Area Brother Builders. Nako, kwentuhan over Zoom. And uh, sabi nga natin kanina, excited tayo para sa kanila kasi what we're going to show to them, what they're going to experience is something that we want them to experience next Sunday, July 5, no? As yes. we have that, uh, di ba, schedules that we want to share in a while, no? But uh, for now, we're gonna show on slide, eto, Tony, eto ang pag-uusapan natin. Paano tayo mas magkakaisa ngayong panahon ng crisis? Ayan po. Wow, At, what a question. Uh, Mm-hmm. We want to encourage everyone dahil sa nasa pan- panahon tayo ng crisis, ng pandemic, we want to ask you, pa, paano nga ba tayo pwedeng maging united, magkaisa? And don't be overwhelmed. I'm not just talking about na uh, buong mundo ito kagad, no? But maybe it starts with where we are, di ba? Sabi nga ng kantang, di ba? Uh, make that change or, di ba? Man in the mirror, di ba? Oh. I'm starting in the man in the mirror. Di ba, gano'n? So ikaw, Brother Tony, paano mo yung ipopromote ang unity in your yeah, own bro. special way. Uh, in my own special way talagang, especially when I, bihira ko lubas, no? Pero when mm. I do go out, talagang, I, I really want to see yung change na, yung sensitivity natin sa isa't isa. Diba? I mean, pag nagda-drive tayo, may pagbabago ba? May disiplina na ba? Mm. <laughs> may malasakit na ba? Pag nag-respect ba tayo ng, ng social distancing? Are we still uh, respecting each other's, uh, you know, yung boundaries natin? Or are we still going back to the way kung, kung ano yung ugali natin bago yung quarantine, di ba? Yan ang kailangan natin din tanungin. And if we Ganda. come together as one, na may malasakit tayo sa isa't isa, I think there can be a change, a counterculture that can happen that, during this quarantine. That's really possible, day. Brother Tony. And of course, no, yes. we want to ask as well, si Laliz, ayan, si Insonia from Cavite, si Laliz, uh, by the way, is from Cebu, no? And then we have oh. also si Reina, all the way from Riyadh, hey! Si Lovely, hey. and Dali. We also have people from San Jose del Monte, si Gar- Ate Garfin, or Mok City Leyte, si Monique. Ito, Brother Tony, if you can see the rest, go ahead. After ni Monique, uh, si Rhea. Can you take Rhea kung saan mga lugar sila? Ito, inihintay ko lang mag-refresh, ha, brother, kasi parang limited yung mga lumalabas no, no, sa akin. No, sa akin, nakikita ko, <laughs> si Rhea, and then, ayan, si Joseph. Si Herven is all the way from Talibon, Bohol. Si Apple Jane is from Bicol. Wow, grabe, ha? At si AJ naman ay Makati. At sabi Ayun. ni Rena dito, wow, from Ormok, sis Monique. Welcome to the feast. Ganda. Welcome, Ayan. welcome. Napansin Ako, ko, Coach JC, no? maraming din mga from ibang bansa which are watching us on a daily, yes, on every yes. week, no? Ang galing. 
Salamat po. And of course, what we can do now is we invite you to tag your friends in the chat box para maibahagi niyo po ang blessing na ito. That also includes, no, we want also to uh, invite them, Brother Tony, na uh, yon mag-watch parties, no, o kaya yeah. share this Facebook Live to people. So sige, tuloy nyo lang yung pagsagot ng paano tayo mas magkakaisa ngayong panahon ng krisis kasi yan rin ang iaalay natin mamaya no? sa banal na misa. And yes. of course, excited tayo because mamaya maya yeah. lang po after ng mass may worship, papasok kami ulit there'll be a special message by Brother Bo Sanchez and of course, ang Zoom kamusta at kwentuhan ng mga brother builders yeah. ng Bay Area District is the, something that we are all excited. Ayan, Brother Tony. And yeah. uh, also, Letting them know with this new schedule, ano ba ang exciting uh, na balita tungkol dito, Brother Tony? Yeah, and this is going to start. Pinanggit mo kanina, Coach JC, no? why we are going to encourage this kind of uh, online fellowship ngayon via Zoom is because next Sunday onwards, no? uh, from four sessions, magiging dalawa. But this is not to say na, na diminish yung quality, no? the service, the Word of God is still going to be served fully 100% to you but we are doing 8 a.m. and 1:30 p.m. sessions 8 a.m. syempre kasama niyo si brother JB Rodriguez brother Adrian Panganiban and brother Alvin Barcelona and of course 1:30 with Alvin Barcelona again and of course brother kami ni brother JC Libiran and with yours truly because after each session magkakaroon tayo ng Zoom fellowship Zoom engagement wow. we're going to throw Exciting out there yung, yeah we're going to throw up the link ng Zoom brother just to give them a heads up and then lahat ng mga first timers and those who are watching we would want to engage with you live face to face on screen so this is something that we would want to do every sunday with you diba para hindi ka lang kayong passive watchers or listeners we want to see you face to face kahit sa online <laughs> woohoo Tamara, and of course, Brother Tony, we also want to share with them the many ways on how they can ayan, uh, get in touch with yes. our new schedule, no? Yes, Go of ahead, course, uh, we have our uh, Sunday Taglish sessions, pero may kasabay din kaming English sessions at 8 a.m., 10.30, 1.30, and 4 p.m. with Brother Bo Sanchez and Brother Odi Villarasa. And, uh, and on a Wednesday, yan, we would like to invite shout out sa mga youth na nandyan, listening right now, Youth Home Ministry, Led by Brother Mon Reyes, 7 p.m. every Wednesday. So you, you can really just listen to a youth talk there and youth worship talaga mga kamatayan yun. And every Friday, 5.30 naman, our sessions there is with Brother Philip Sumera, Doc Ryan Capitolo, and either Brother Bo Sanchez or Brother Alvin Barcelona to give a powerful message. And tuwing Sabado naman, alas 4 ng hapon, we have Doc Didoy Lubaton with either Brother Bo Sanchez or Brother Alvin Barcelona. So talagang, not only this Coach JC, no? also come July, we're going to also share the announcement na every day, uh, every night, as much as possible, we have ongoing formation inputs na, let's say, let's say, like Monday, ang nakatutok dun is for young professionals, pag Tuesday, families and couples, pag Wednesday, youth, yan. So, ganun ang mangyayari. So, abangan nyo na lang yun. Maraming mangyayari pa na magaganda. So, Mayroong magandang mangyayari sa iyo. <laughs> Abang-abang. So, ayan. Mainit-init pa. And of course, we want to thank them as well for their continuous generosity. We're able yes. to continue what we're doing here at Feast at Home. And we're able to bless many people through our diba, efforts, most especially ang ating mga mercy ministries. So, right now, we want to encourage you to take a snapshot of this so that you can take note on how you can give. So, again, ang details natin is bank, Union Bank, Timog Branch, account name, the builder of the Live Jesus Family, Mega Manila Feast Bay Area Inc. Account number, 000-4-000-24937. At ang sweep code ay UBPHPHMM. For check donations, you can write the Feast Bay Area. At uh, muli, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbibigay. Your giving goes a long way. So, saludo po sa inyong mga ayan, supporters natin and to those who are joining us today. So, right now, we will ask them to settle down Sama saktong sakto kasi nandito ang aking anak. I'm also gonna settle her down. So I'm gonna look after her. Daddy duties muna po. But uh, this moment now is uh, really be blessed by the celebration of yes. the Mass. After that opening worship. And then babalik kami ni Brother Tony. Whether you like it or whether you like it. And we're gonna like introduce, it. do the prayer, and give you the word as we prepare ourselves for the special session. Maraming po salamat. God bless you guys. Be excited. God bless you.
Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist. Today's Gospel challenges us to make a firm commitment to the Lord. The cost of following Jesus is high. Jesus claims priority over the most important things in our lives, including family and self. Yet, by dying to self and losing everything else for the sake of Jesus and the gospel, we will surely find life. As Paul puts it, if we have died with Christ, we shall also live with him. Our priest presider for this Eucharistic celebration is Reverend Father Bob McConaughey. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing the entrance song. As we gather, may your spirit work within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. Uh, we come into God's presence and we begin our Mass in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you for taking so much time to join us today for the celebration of the Mass. We miss you so much. We miss seeing your eyes, your faces. We miss the hugs. We miss the laughter. But we know that you are there. And the Lord knows you are there. And he notices and so we pray during this Mass, especially for you, for all our feasters here in the Philippines and around the world, and for all that are in need of our prayers. But before we do all of that, we ask our Lord to enter deeply within us and cleanse us from the sins of this past week. The times we got angry, upset, frustrated, worried, fearful that we didn't take time to be with our Lord enough. We come before him now and pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Thank you. 
Friends, let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption shows us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of sin, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. Elisha, the prophet of God, is given hospitality by a woman of Shunem, and the woman's generosity is rewarded with the gift of a son. The first reading. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day Elisha came to Shunem, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elisha is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little, little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Sometime later, Elisha arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elisha asked, Can something be done for her? His servant Gehazi answered, Yes, she has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elisha said, Call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elisha promised, This time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let a response be. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Response. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name, they rejoice all the day. And through your justice, they are exalted. Response. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. You are the splendor of their strength. And by your favor, our horn is exalted. For to the Lord belongs our shield, and to the Holy One of Israel, our King. Response, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The Apostle Paul reminds us Christians that when we are immersed in the water of baptism, we die to our sins, and when we rise from it, we rise to a new life in Christ. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. 
Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God. Please stand. to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. And whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of water to one of these little ones to drink because the little one is a disciple, Amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated for the home. You know, some Gospels are so comforting, aren't they? The lost sheep, the lost coin, the prodigal son, the woman at the well, all of these Gospels lift us up. Why? Because they are telling us how much not only that God loves us, but that he wants to all the time forgive us and give us his mercy, even so far as to say the greater the sinner, the greater is he entitled to my mercy. Oh, yes. There are many comforts in the Gospel telling us of the possibility of answered prayers, miracles, it's a beautiful, beautiful experience to hear uplifting Gospels. But then again, there are Gospels that do not comfort. Then again, there are Gospels that disturb. And this is one of those Gospels in which Jesus seems to really be discouraging us. On the one hand, he says, if you're parents and you love your children more than me, you're not worthy of me. And if you're children and you love your parents more than me, you're not worthy of me. Maybe that's why we say when we receive communion, O oh Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But it begins to make a little bit more sense, this challenge, this disturbing, when we take a look at our relationships and the love we give to those relationships. For example, you're going to give more love to your family than you will to your friends. And you're going to give more love to your friends than you will to your associates. And you're going to give more love to your associates than you're going to give to strangers. And yet in an ironic twist, our Lord says, when I was a stranger, you welcomed me. So in a way, what this gospel really is all about is our love relationships. And which is the most important one? He was once asked that, what is the greatest commandment? And he said this, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Whew. That takes a lot of energy. 
But the difficulty is that sometimes we give God our spare time and our small interior change. And he summons us to a deeper loving relationship with him. How do you love someone? You love someone, first of all, by getting to know them. By allowing them to open up to you and you in turn opening up to them. And what develops there is a sort of what? An intimacy. You certainly have intimacy in your families, among your friends, and you cherish those intimacies. But our Lord is saying, do you cherish intimacy with me? In which you are saying to me, Jesus, into me see. See my fears, see my worries, see my concerns, see my upsets, see my pain. And our Lord says in return, into me see. See how much I love you. See how much I care for you. See how much compassion that I have for you. But in order to do that, attention must be paid. Usually we can sometimes put the Lord at the periphery of our relationships, be in touch with him perhaps to say prayers, all of which is good. But rather he's calling you and me to develop a deeper relationship with him than we have with our family, our friends, our associates, and that we have our strangers. How do we do that? By opening our hearts, starting with a simple 15 minutes a night. We give a half an hour to the news. We give more to texting and to our cell phones. We give time to television. But where is the priority for simply being with Jesus? As the Tom once said, be, just be, as a page that aches for a word that speaks on a theme that is timeless. And the one God will make for your way. When you think about it, our life is kind of like a typhoon. Did you ever take a look at a typhoon on the map? What you notice is that a typhoon has a lot of energy, a lot of power. But where does it get its power? Where does it get its energy? And how does it lose its power? How does it lose its energy? It gets its power from a center. They call it the eye of the typhoon. And if you were to be in the eye of the typhoon as it's passing by you, suddenly the rain stops. Suddenly the winds die down. Suddenly all becomes peaceful. But once that eye begins to split apart, once it begins to weaken, then the power is gone. Then the strength is gone. And the typhoon simply falls apart into a little bit of rainfall. Now, what you and I are called to do is to have that center, not in our families, not in our friends, but in him. And the deeper the love we begin to allow ourselves to have for him and him for us, guess what? It will affect all of your relationships positively. Jesus is not saying, I'm jealous here. What Jesus very simply is saying, as you'll hear in the gospel next week, come to me all you who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will refresh him. Give him time to do precisely that, even as this pandemic follows on. Now, there's one more sentence that I'm going to preach about. There are many sentences here in the gospel today, but just one more. And it's the most difficult one of all. Effectively, Jesus said, you want to be my disciples? I mean, you really want me to be my disciples? Okay, this is what's going to make a difference between a disciple in name only and a real follower of mine. Take up your cross and follow me. Notice he didn't say take up my cross. He said take up your cross. What is your cross? A cross is either spiritually, physically, or emotionally something that gives you pain. And usually when we get pain of any kind, we want to get rid of it. We want to get rid of the cross. 
But somehow our Lord says, take up the cross daily and follow me. He did that, and it was very painful. And yet at the same time, it gave him the opportunity to love us in ways that human beings have never been loved before. He says, you do that. Take up your cross and follow me. I'm going to share with you a story that I sometimes tell on retreats. And it is the story of a person whose cross was heavier than I've ever seen in my life. If anybody had a reason to say, I don't love God, she could have said that. If there is anyone that I ever met in my life that would say, I'm turning my back on people, I feel sorry for myself, it was this woman. I was two years a priest. I was stationed in a coal mining town in northeastern Pennsylvania. And there were a lot of elderly in the parish. And so on First Fridays, I would take communion to the shut-in, to the older people. And I remember the first day on First Friday that the driver took me there and parked out in front of her one-story home. He said, very sad case here, Father. I said, well, what do you mean? You'll see when you go in. Well, what I saw when I went in, all my theology, all my philosophy, all of my training and experience did not prepare me for the next 15 minutes of my life, of my priesthood. It was that day that I met a woman age 46 by the name of Marlene Spahn. And I remember I went over to her bed and what I saw absolutely stunned me. She looked literally as if she had been cut in half. Both of her legs were severed up to the hips and her right arm was off to just below the elbow so that when she blessed herself it was like this and i introduced myself to her and then i said as any of us would say marlene what happened to you you know what she said let me receive communion first she had her priorities right and so I gave her communion, and giving her communion was like making a retreat the way she received it. And she took a good three minutes in prayer, quiet prayer, intimate prayer. And then I saw two tears rolling down her cheeks near the end of that prayer, which she quickly wiped away. And while she was praying, I noticed that on her bed she had a rosary, she had novenas, she had prayer books, good Catholic. But then when she came out of her prayer, she very graciously welcomed me to the parish, asked about my family. But then I got to the question. I said, Marlene, what happened to you? She said, Father, you're busy today. I'll make it brief. She said, eight years ago, I contacted a disease called Berger's disease. Your president has the same. And she said, it expects the extremities and the toes of my foot got black on my left foot. I went to the doctor. He said, Marlene, that's gangrene. We have to sever your toes. And so they amputated my toes. But about a month and a half later, the gangrene went into my ankle and the rest of my foot. And so they had to take off my foot. Father, I'm not going to bore you with any more details. In the last eight years, I've had 27 surgical amputations of my limbs. Up the right leg, up the left leg, up my arm, and here I am. Then she said, Father, can I ask you a question? And I said, sure, Marlene. She said, you know what? I used to like to go out to dinner with my husband. He's a wonderful guy. But whenever I go out now, people stare at me. And so when I get home, I feel very down, very depressed. I used to love to cook, but now I can't even hold myself up straight in my wheelchair. I used to love to make clothing. Now I only have the one hand. Father, I'm in constant pain. I say my rosary, I say my prayer books, 
but the pain doesn't go away. And then she said, Father, what's the meaning of my life? I just couldn't give her a stained glass answer. I said, Marlene, I have to pray about that. I have to really think about that. And I think I have to listen more to you and get to know you. I'll come up on Tuesday. We'll have coffee. She said, that's a great idea. I'll see you then. Well, I left there feeling like a total failure. What sort of compassion did I give her? What sort of words of relief? None, but I was very successful. Why? I gave her the Eucharist. I got back to my convent, and I'm sitting down thinking, Lord, what can I say to her? What are we going to talk about? I really need you to be with me. And then the phone rang. It was Father John Murphy, about 50 kilometers away. And he said, Father Bob, Father Leo canceled tomorrow for a recollection. He's sick. Is there any way that you can come down and give us three hours on the meaning of the sacraments? And I said, okay, I'll come down. And immediately Marlene left my mind and I began preparing the talk for the next day. And I came to the point at which in the talk I wanted to say this. There is no such thing as a sacrament without a sacrifice. And then it hit me. And I quickly called Marlene on the phone. I said, Marlene, I don't have an answer to your, to your question. But I have something I need you to do for me, and it's extremely important. She said, Father, what, what, what can I do for you? I can't even get out of my bed. I said, I know. But I saw your prayer books. I saw your rosaries. I saw your novenas. Tomorrow, I'm going to be giving a recollection for three hours to 80 people. Maybe some of those people are far away from the Lord. Maybe some of those people are going through a crisis in their life right now, and they're seeking answers. Maybe some of those people lost a member of their family in the last year, and somehow I got to connect with them, and I'm not going to be able to connect with them without you. This is what I want you to do, Marvin. I want you to take everything you experienced during that three hours. I want you to take your pain, your frustration, any anger you might fear at the Lord, and take it all and unite it with the cross of Christ. You see, we're always offering Jesus to the Father for our salvation. Every Mass we celebrate. So I said, you unite that. And powerful graces will be sent to those 80 retreatants, I promise you. Can you do that? She said, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. And then I asked her, and this is probably the most difficult thing I had ever asked anyone to do in my life. I said, Marlene, will you do the same thing five minutes every day that I be a good priest? I'll do it. And she did. I gave the recollection the next day and got to the point at which I said, there's no such thing as a sacrament without a sacrifice. And I told them what I have just shared with you about Marlene. And after the recollection was ended, they asked me for her full name and her full address, they wanted to write to her, each of them. The following Tuesday, as promised, I went up to have a cup of coffee with her. I knocked on the door and I heard this very pleasant, come in. And I went in. She said, Father, look at this. I went over to the bed. And her bed was covered like a blanket with 80 individually sent letters, each one expressing in a specific way how her sacrifice made them make one of the best recollections they ever made. So it was the Holy Spirit in her connecting with the Holy Spirit in them and just using me as an instrument. Well, every time that I gave a recollection after that, she would do the same thing. And over the next two years, hundreds and hundreds of people would know who Marlene Spar was. They would write to her. They would call her on the telephone. And she became good friends with my mom, and little did I know in his providence how God was preparing me. Because several years later, my mother and my brother would have their legs amputated. 
if I was not used to being with her with a half an arm and no legs, I don't know how I would have handled that. Oh, well, two years later, her husband gave me a call. He said, Father, you have to come up and give the sacraments to Marlene. She's really in bad form. And she refuses to go to the hospital. Could you come up, give her the sacraments, and talk her into it? So up I went. And I said, now, Marlene, I'm going to give you communion. And I gave her the sacrament of the sick. And she was very quiet. I said, now, Marlene, come on now. You, you have to go to the hospital. I said, Father, no. No. No more hospital. I'm too tired. I knew she had to go. And so I told her something very truthful. I said, Marlene, I'm going on a retreat tomorrow, my own personal retreat down to Mount St. Mary's Seminary. And I'm going to need prayer to make a good retreat. She stopped me right there. She said, all right, all right, all right. I'll go. I said, good. Now, on Friday night, I said, I'm going to come up to St. Joseph's Hospital. She'd love to have a glass of beer. I'll bring a bottle of beer with me. We'll both have a glass of beer. She said, no, you won't. I'm going home. And then she said, you remember the first time I met you? I said, yes. Do you remember the question I asked you? What's the meaning of my life? I'll never forget it. She said, now I know the meaning of my life. God was preparing me for a mission. That never occurred to me. And my mission was to people who are either on the cross or directly beneath it. Now think about that. If anybody had a reason to turn their back on people, she did. To be really angry at God and not pray to him because he didn't answer the prayers to make her well. She had that reason. And yet she did just the opposite. And I said, what's your secret? My secret is time. I give time to the Lord. I love him. I get to know him a little bit better each day and things become more clear. I will never forget her. She took up her cross and followed him closely. What is your cross? The poet says not all the crosses are on hills against a crimson sky. Not all the riven hands are pierced, nor all the pierced hearts die. We face a thousand little deaths, but none may see or guess what scarring wounds we hide beneath our body's loveliness. The little song that missed its way, love patient and unclean, Old scornful words whose memory still turns us sick with shame. The smile that lists a scorpion, scorpion's lash. Gray eyes that did not heed. The friend relied and leaned upon. Who failed us in our need. Not all the crosses are on hills, but God keep those in sight. Who come back from Calvary with hands unscarred and white. What is your cross? Don't waste the pain. United in love with Jesus, who said, love me with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. And with your cross, I will give you a mission, just as he did, Marlene. Have a great week. Let us together profess what we believe. I believe one God, Father, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, lean down from heaven, 
and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In what we come before God the Father, seeking his bounty with our prayers not only for ourselves but all those who are carrying crosses that the church the people of god may live and preach the gospel without compromise and never be ashamed of the redeeming cross of christ we pray lord hear our prayer that missionaries and preachers of the and open hearts we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those suffering from injustice, poverty, sickness, and alienation may find generous people who will assist them in their need. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may live our baptismal consecration, dying to our sinful inclinations, and living with one another in peace, love, and mutual respect. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The travelers may be kept safe in their journey, the dying given comfort, and the dead welcomed to their eternal reward in heaven. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayer intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the month of June, that all those who suffer may find their way in life, allowing themselves to be touched by the heart of Jesus. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions and all <coughs> intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many gifts that you give to us, gifts which at this time might be hard to perceive because we don't think about them that often. But we thank you for the light of our eyes, the air that we breathe, the freedom we experience in this land to be able to worship you with abandon and love. And so we place all these prayers, those that have been spoken out loud, those that are deep in the hearts of anyone who is watching. And we trust that you will answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Amen. My sisters, my brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have no need of our praise, yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but makes us grow in your grace. So in our joy, we sing to your glory with all the choirs of England. we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your risen presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that sharing in the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Roderick, our apostolic, our apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially those who died this past week from COVID. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be coerced to eternal life and praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> Now 
about the Savior's command and form by Jesus' teaching, We Dare to Sing. in our day that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus who said here apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins our weaknesses our failures but upon our faith graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share a gesture, a gift of that peace among one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. confirms the awesome truth. This is no longer great. 
This is Jesus Christ. So behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called by name to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the act of spiritual communion. Altogether, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us all pray the Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, say pray for us. Saint Pedro Hayumsor, pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray. So that bound to you by lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It took a little bit longer tonight after communion so that we could be quiet and trust, to be still. And even with this pandemic, know that he is king over the floods and king over this pandemic. We will be still and know that he is God. And with the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and your families to remain with you and care for you, both now and forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended, but we stay in peace. Thanks be to God. Sunday, dear brothers and sisters. I know that we are still adjusting in this new normal way of life. Some may be losing hope already, or some might be in fear on what is in store for them in the future. But let me just remind you of one of God's promises to us, which can be found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 13, which says, For I am the Lord your God, takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear. I will help you. So kung natatakot ka, just whisper this to your heart and have faith in Him. So I'd like to invite you to get up, get up and praise Him for all the blessings, provisions, protection, and advance healing that he will be providing us, especially in this time of pandemic. So let's praise him with all our hearts and join us in this powerful worship.
I'll praise you as there is no other way. We stand together with hearts joined as one. We'll give you glory for all you have done. Everybody get up if you love him. you rock and roll for the Lord, Brother Tony. <laughs> uh, Coach JC, ngayon hapon na ito, it never stops. The worshiping and the praising never stops. So excited for this afternoon. Yeah, definitely, if you're excited as well to experience something special today, type in the comment section, I'm excited! I'm excited! excited. Yeah, no, tamang-tama lang, no? <laughs> of course, recognizing all of the people who have been joining us. Ah, Salamat to oh. Ali, kay G, kay Rhea, kay Micah, ayan, kay Mai, Kay JM, kay Nina, Farina, ayan si Edith, ayan si Mien, even shared uh, yung kanyang way for peace and transformation para sa yes. every person to be closer to God and feel your amazing overflowing love amidst we are all go undergoing. We pray for the hungry, the sick, the homeless, the lonely. Make us cool in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And there's so many people still here that talagang nag-comment at uh, alam nyo, yes. kahit kami mabanggit lahat yan ni Brother Tony, you are becoming a blessing as well in the chat box. Diba, Brother Tony? 
Oh, sobra. As you continue to share this link, as you continue to share this online engagement, you're also blessing others in your life. And napansin ko, Coach JC, marami mm-hmm. din nag-share ng mga prayer intentions, which is very good. Yes, we have servants Wonderful. who are praying on for you. We are praying for you, no? for all those who are extending their intentions, all those who are uh, going through a certain crisis, a certain problem, a certain struggle right now. This is a place where we would want to engage you and thank you for opening up and being, being vulnerable. Kasi tamang-tama ang talk natin for today, Coach JC. Yes. For those who really are hungry for the Word of God. Woo! Saktong-sakto rin po, no? Just like what Brother yes. Tony is saying, that as you put your prayer petitions, people are also praying for you. Plus, we have a de- two of dedicated group of people praying for you as well. And also to our first-timers, itype nilang, I'm a first-timer, because there's another group that is looking after you guys so that we can connect and engage with you. At talagang excited na nga tayo. Hindi pa huli ang lahat, ha? you can still tag your friends and please do share this Facebook Live to, to your Facebook uh, pages or just create a watch party. Nako, na-bless ka na, naging blessing ka pa. And we're gonna show on screen itong slide na to because excited na tayo, Brother Tony, sa kwentuhan magaganap Woo-hoo! over to... Yan! <laughs> Yun, ito na. Yeah. Definitely, it won't just be us, but uh, we will be joined by our brother builders ng Peace Bay Area District. At uh, masayang kwentuhan nito, Brother Tony, something that yes. we want to model to them because next Sunday, July 5, and onwards, we will experience that no, over our Zoom fellowship. Kaya excited na tayo. Pero bago natin sabihin sa kanilang kayo muna, kami muna, ipapakita muna namin sa <laughs> Kailangan may teaser muna, kailangan may ano may oh, commercial oh. muna. <laughs> At pag-uusapan din natin of course no, uh, some do about unity and just wanted to share brother Tony because there'll be a special message first by brother Bo Sanchez and then ito na yung no. Zoom uh, fellowship kamustahan natin with our brother builders. But I wanted to quickly share this no. We had this at the uh, Seaworthy Saturdays last night no. Uh, we had brother Bo Sanchez as our special guest. Ang ganda ng sinabi niya kasi ang topic namin si Worthy Communities about unity as well. No sinabi okay. niya that Human okay. love plus God's love comes together. Then love uh, that can create love that impacts people's lives. And I believe that's what we are also telling. Uh, if they want to watch the full uh, episode of that, punta lang sa Facebook page ni Coach J. Silibiran, and you'll be able wow. to grab no and uh, get more a lot of uh, juicy stuff about Brother Bo Sanchez, who's also gonna celebrate in advance, no, in birthday niya at anniversary at his sister Maro as well this July. So as early as now. Advance happy birthday sa mga July celebrants natin. Yeah. Yun. Happy birthday in advance. Grabe And, Coach JT. Napapansin ko din may mga nagko-comment from other countries kanina pa, no? So, it's nga, so good. Sige nga, country yan. Uh, well, I have here Ayan, an old friend of mine mula Bahrain sa aking oh, uh, uh, pinanggalingan. We have Winona Pereira, a, a very good friend of mine. Uh, she's not just an old BFF, pero BFF. Hmm. And uh, we have those coming from Dubai, from Abu Dhabi, and the Qatar. Wow. Ahalan wasalan. Dito rin sa Valenzuela, brother. Bahrain. Baha sa Bahrain. Anyways. Baha sa Bahrain. Bago pa tayo ang iba ng usapan, just letting them know as well. Kaya natin yeah. pag-uusapan ang unity kasi marami ng disunity nangyayari. Marami ng di pagkakaintindihan. At I, I always uh, know this, no? At brother Tony na, kapag marami kang kaawa, ay dumiliit ang mundo mo. And imagine mo, no? we've been in quarantine for months, tapos yung mismo kasama mo sa bahay, kaaway mo. And that's why we've been uh, preaching to them and our series, Best Preaching Ever, na talagang our relationship matters. Mahalagang mahalaga yan. And uh, during this time as well, na talagang uh, may pandemic, no? talagang ito yung panahon para hindi tayo magkawatak-watak, ito yung panahon na tayo ay magkaisa. Diba? At uh, yung pagkakaisa na yan ay nagsisimula sa, sa loob ng tahanan and then event community at large. And hopefully we're praying na diba, hindi tayo magkakanya-kanya pagdating sa bansa. No? At pagdating sa yeah. pandemic na to, kasi for us to be able to, you know, so to survive and to thrive uh, and go beyond this, grow beyond this, is be- when, we are, when we are together. No? We are better together kapag sama-sama Amen. tayo. Amen. And with that, we'll be asking them now to, you know, come before our God. Sabi nga, where two or three are gathered, God is in our midst. We'll be inviting you now to pray this. And so that we will become one. Manalangin tayo, our feast declaration of abundance, ang Tagalog version. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sa araw na ito, tinatanggap ko ang lahat ng pag-ibig ng Diyos para sa akin. Sa araw na ito, ako ay nagbubukas sa hindi masukat, walang hanggan, at nag-uumapaw na kasaganaan ng Diyos sa buong sanilika. Sa araw na ito, ako ay nagbubukas sa biyayang kagalingan at himala ng Diyos. Sa araw na ito, 
ako ay nagbubukas sa salita ng Diyos upang ako ay maging kahalintulad ni Jesus araw-araw. Sa araw na ito, aking itinatanghal na ako ay mahal ng Diyos, ako ay lingkod ng Diyos, ako ay makapangyarihang kampiyon ng Diyos, at dahil ako ay pinagpala, pinagpapala ko ang mundo. Sa ngala ni Jesus, Amen. Amen. At sabay tayo, with your Bibles, let's say the word of God, thy word of God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And we invite them, if you have your Bibles with you, my dear friends, pumunta lamang po sa John chapter 17 verses 21 to 22 at babasahin ko po ang Taglish edition. Tamang-tama ito, Brother Tony, because when Jesus was about to say these lines, o itong mismong babasahin natin, Jesus was overlooking Jerusalem and um, mm-hmm. he was actually praying na magkaroon ng pagkakaisa kasi during his time as well, maraming pagkakawatak-watak, maraming division, yes. and there was a lot of disunity. And that's why ang panalangin ng Diyos is that we may be one. At yan ang panalangin niya, hindi lang nung unang panahon, pero hanggang ngayon, yan ang panalangin niya para sa atin. So Amen. let me now read. Pinagpe-pray ko na magkaisa silang lahat. Tatay, maging kaisa sana natin sila, gaya ng pagiging isa natin. Magkaisa sana sila para maniwala ang mundo na pinadala niyo ako. Binigay ko din sa kanila ang kadakilaang binigay niyo sa akin para magkaisa sila. Gaya ng pagiging isa natin. And uh, Lord, we want to continue to lift up to you our prayers right now. Brother Tony? Yes, Lord, we're grateful for today. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. We open up our hearts, our minds, and our souls. Buong pagkataon namin sa iyong salita, Lord. We allow your word to come in, to speak to us, to anoint us. That way today, what anoints us is not the negative things, not the hurts, not the pains, but the love, the peace, the rest the courage, the strength, you, O oh God, ang magkakaisa sa amin, Lord. You will come into us as we will come to you, Lord, today. Yes. We are grateful, Lord, that your word will speak louder to us than ever before. This we lift up today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Once again, let's lift our Bibles. Let's turn the word of God. Thy word, O God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand. Palapakan natin siya. At uh, ipagbunyi natin ang magandang gagawin niya. Most especially, he will speak to us in the messages that is uh, given to us. Most especially with Brother Bo Sanchez and our special exclusive Zoom Kamuskan and fellowship ng mga brothers ng Peace Bay area, builders po. Ayan. So with that, let's all be engaged. Write down your, di ba, less yung mga natutunan natin or just type in the comment section at babalik kami right after our response worship. All right. Be blessed. Enjoy! Hi, just wanted to greet you, God bless you, and tell you a story. Mahatma Gandhi, when he was much younger, he started reading the Gospels. Now remember, he was a Hindu, but he started reading the Gospels and he was fascinated by Christ. So much so that he visited one of the churches, the Christian churches in Calcutta, India. But this is what happened. The moment he entered the door, the ushers told him he could not go in. Number one, because it was only for the high caste Indians. Now remember that in India, they, were, they had this caste system, five levels from the Brahmins on top all the way to the Dalits below. The Dalits are the outcasts, the beggars. And number two, the usher said, you have to be the high caste and you have to be white. And you know, Mahatma Gandhi was not high caste nor was he white, so he could not enter. Because of that experience, Mahatma Gandhi said, I like Christ, I do not like Christians. Because what he read in the Gospels, which was love and unity and humility, he could not find in that church because that church 
practiced segregation, division. And so I want to ask you this question. When people walk into the feast, well, it's a little bit difficult to walk into the feast now, uh, but when people go into our online events, our, our online communities, what do they find? I pray that they do not find segregation, they do not find division. I pray that they find humility and care and love and, yes, unity in the body. I pray that when people go into our communities and experience our friendships and our welcome, they will say, I like Christ because I like the Christians in the feast. My dear friends, let us move as one. God bless you. All right, would like to welcome you all in this special conversation with the Feast Bay Area District uh, Builders. And this will be a quintuhan, most especially kasama ko si Tony. Tony? Yes! <laughs> welcome! Ito, masayang masaya, Brother JC. We're excited kasi kasama nga natin yung mga builder brothers natin from Feast Bay Area. <laughs> and of course, no, this is something special because normally on a Sunday or on a feast, diba? whenever they see us, it's more on may individual tayo mga parts, tapos we share, uh, may mga talks tayong pinipared, but this time, kwentuhan lang talaga. So, yes. wherever you are right now, we are encouraging you just to settle down, maybe grab a coffee or a tea or some snack beside you. And as you have this conversation with us, huwag niyo isipin na kami lang ang nagkikwentuhan. Isipin niyo na kasama kayo sa kwentuhan na ito. And again, we're yes. so blessed because our brother builders are here. Brother uh, Odi Villarasa is here. Woohoo! We yes. also have here Doc Dido Lubaton in the house. Yay! Yes. 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 Um, Brother John Ben Rodriguez, Bagong Daddy, congratulations! Daddy. Welcome, <laughs> Brother JV. Of course, Brother Philip Sumera. Yeah. And of course, we also have our dear uh, district builder, Brother Alvin Barcelona. Yeah. yeah. Hey, brothers, Thank welcome. God, Thank you, brothers. Alam kung busy busy po kayong lahat, but at least no, uh, for our uh, people for the Peace Bay Air District, we will set aside everything because mahalaga sila sa atin. Yes. Kaya ayan, yes. no? simulan na natin. No? Alam ko may mga tanong tayo, Tony, nakanda sa kanila. Pero maganda muna, meron tayong konting warm-up. No? At uh, itong warm-up na to, mamimili lang kayo no? between the two answers na ibibigay namin. Tapos, uh, just share no? uh, quickly. No? Pwede namin tanongin bakit yun ang, ang sinagot ninyo. Alright? So, simulan na natin kagad. Sige, Build, Tony. Brother, di ba? Builders pastok ito. Sige. O, parang mga pastok <laughs> lang. No? Sige. So, unahin na natin. No? After this... Uh, Diba? Quarantine, nalif yung lockdown, anong unang ginawa? No? Anong priority? Haircut or food trip? O, tanong niyo agad natin si Odi. Haircut! Nakita niyo naman, bagong tabas ako <laughs> ngayon. No? Yan, <laughs> hindi yan right. na ng asawa ko. So, haircut was the first. Alright, sige. Ikaw naman, Doc Didoy. Hindi ko pa nagagawa pareho, pero <laughs> pa haircut. <laughs> Ginugupitan ako na asawa ko ngayon eh. Oh, di ba? Mas perte, no? Sige. Uh, Tony, ikaw, you want to see no next? Yeah, si Brother Lep naman. Mukhang kasi bagong gupit, eh. <laughs> yeah, haircut. Alam mo, natuto akong mag-DIY razor. <laughs> oh my <laughs> dahil, gosh. Dahil lumago na lumago, sobra. So, praise God. Ito, <laughs> <laughs> ang bagong daddy. Congratulations, Daddy Yun. Jadben. <laughs> haircut or food trip? Both. <laughs> Both. Both din. <laughs> Eh, paano kaya pagtino natin si Brother Alvin? Brother Alvin, haircut or food trip? Opo. Ano ibig sabihin ng haircut? <laughs> Papakipaliwanag, medyo malalim sa akin na salitang yan. <laughs> Sige, move na tayo no? para bago ang mga iba pang usapan natin. No? How about this, Brother? Um, watching movie or mag-coffee shop? Brother Alvin, kayo po. Ah... Uh, uh, Medyo babad naman sa Netflix eh. So, coffee shop na lang. <laughs> Yun! Coffee. Oh, quickly, Philip, ikaw. Watching movie with a coffee. Pwede, <laughs> <laughs> pwede. Ang daya nyo palaging both. Ano ba yan? <laughs> o, Tony, ikaw. Tony. Yun. Uh, ako naman. I'll go for coffee. I'm a coffee. So, coffee lover. Ako rin mukhang doon ako sa watching movie at the same yeah. time. coffee. Pwede naman, di ba? Sige, anyway, the rest of the brothers, I'm sure meron sagot rin sila, pero move na tayo kagad doon sa next. Ito, online feast or live feast? Tanungin ko si Odi. 
parang mas gusto ko yung live piece kasi live piece talaga yan eh. Mas madali yung ginagawa natin pag live piece at totoo lang hindi alam ng mga tao to na napakahirap mag-record. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I agree. At uh, lahat tayo, di ba, napapangiti, natatawa dyan, no? Sige, how about uh, um, ikaw, uh, Philip? Uh, napapaisip ako dun sa online kasi wala kaming utang. Wala kaming <laughs> Pero live piece. I miss the live piece. Alright. Sige, John Ben, ikaw. Didoy naman. Sige, John Ben muna, inendok si Didoy. Kami live din kasi tama si Odi. Kapag pinanood mo yung recording mo, tapos di maganda, mag-record ka ulit. <laughs> Isa live. Relate ako dyan. Yung mga tao. <laughs> yep. Doc Dido, ikaw. Well, for the safety and security of people, online feast muna. Yan. Okay. O ito, last brothers, before we really jump into our topic, sa mga questions natin, preaching or disciple making? Talungin ko na kagad si Brother Alvin. Kay Brother Alvin na lang yon And then, tunan tayo sa mga questions talaga natin. What I've been uh, discovering in this quarantine, yung disciple making is really what's the what's most more needed. Ngayon. Although, well, of course, we will always be preachers, but disciple making is what people need in this in this uh, situation. Yep, napapanahon po, no? At least kahit na tayo ay online, Brother Alvin, and I'm sure brothers kayo rin, di ba? How do we bring them to that relationship and you know, have that accompaniment and journey with them? Kaya ayan, let's continue to journey with our viewers, yung mga nanonood dyan. Sige, sumama kayo sa kwentuhan. No? As, as if parang kasama talaga namin kayo, pwede kayong mag-comment dyan. But uh, we want to give already no, uh, yung ating question. No? Uh, most especially, may kinalaman sa pagkakaisa, may kinalaman sa pagdarasal. Ayan, at uh, we want to ask this. No? Um, how are you coping in this new normal? No? And what is the lesson that you've learned so far in this crisis? Punahin na lang natin si Odi. Odi, ikaw. Thank you, JC. Um, the one thing that God has been teaching me and my my family, yung aking napakaliit na pamilya, is during this crisis, ano, sa totoo lang medyo nahirapan kami nung una. Kasi alam niyo naman, tatlo lang kami nandito sa kondo. Tapos uh, wala naman kaming katulong, wala naman kaming kasambahay, wala, wala kaming kasama. So medyo hirap kami. Kasi I, we still have to work, but at the same time, we have to take care of our son and then we have to do all these things that you would do for your family. So, medyo nahirap kami sa transition. Pero sa una lang naman yon, alam mo, pagbago parati ang nararanasan mo, meron yung birth pain eh. So, yung birth pain, naranasan namin yon, yung struggle na kami lang lahat ng gumagawa. That over time, God has been teaching us, number one, to be responsible parents na whether it's a pandemic or not, natututunan namin na yung may value talaga na magkaroon kami ng, ng pagsama-sama. Importante sa amin yun. So natutunan namin during this time that family time is one of the best gifts that, that, that God will ever give us. So we're very grateful that we are together. Tapos ngayon, uh, medyo minsan sumasakit ang ulo, minsan, minsan na, naiinis ka, pero parte ng buhay naman yun. So that's, that's, that's for me. Yep, and may God continue to bless your family and also the businesses that you are looking after, no odds. Ayan, and uh, how about tanungin natin from a family, eto, to the new dad. Uh, JB, ikaw, most especially Ooh. with uh, the new blessing. Share that with us. <laughs> Kami ano din eh. Uh, tama kay si Odi, it's very challenging what we're facing kasi yung normal at yung nakasanayan mo noon, simpleng paglalaba, it's a challenge for us kasi dati nakakapagpalaba ka. Ngayon kami ulit. Tapos pag pumasok galing sa labas, babad lahat ng damit. So, mahirap pero tama eh. Uh, gusto ko yung isang series natin, ay talk natin in the past that says na uh, if God has blessed you in another way in the past, in the future, the blessing might come in another form. And I believe that this time is teaching us that the form of the blessings of God is changing its form. Kaya kailangan mong makita yon in this situation. Kaya kami ngayon, it's very important for us to always shift the perspective. Kasi kung titignan lang namin yung hirap na pinagdadaanan ng lahat ngayon, which every one of us naman is affected, uh, pwede kang ma-depress, pwede kang malungkot. Pero now we're looking at the, what's the blessing given that we're restricted in this way? For example, kami, nagkaroon kami ng family, ng anak, walang outside help. Parang na-enjoy namin na kaming tatlo lang muna as a family nung lumabas si baby. We're doing, hirap kami, walang, walang tulog, puyat, pero... In the process, we're learning na, oh nga, no, ang sarap din pala that we're, we're do, we get to do this kahit challenging siya. So, yon I think it's really a shift in perspective. 
that every one of us must do nowadays because the the normal that we experience may may took may take time to come back or it may not even come back again so if we have the right perspective we could always see the blessings of god in the process genda thank Amen. you daddy john ben all right salamat jb and then tony ikaw uh, ano yung way mo ng pagkukup ngayong new normal and what's the lesson that you've learned so far from this crisis yeah, bro. Uh, I'll have to agree with Brother Alvin kanina, no? Talagang discipleship kasi that's what's helping me cope with this time, no? Kailangan may kausap, eh. Ang hirap na <laughs> wala kang kamit or kasalamuha on a daily basis. Although kami ni misis lang sa bahay, busy pare- parehas kami sa schedule, sa meetings. But one thing I love is uh, having online LGs, having one-on-ones. And ganito, kahit online at uh, live, it's such a blessing to see new faces and same faces. <laughs> Basta may makita kong mukha <laughs> at may kausap akong mukha. But uh, I'll have to say, it was not easy kasi it's challenging. No? There are times na talagang tendency to question mo din yung sarili mo when it comes to your business, income, parang, oh, how am I going to go through this? But then what sustains me there is really prayer. Prayer and continual service kahit online. So I'm grateful for technology kasi it's a gift talaga. Ngayon ko lang nakita and we can all see that this is something that can be used for the good no? instead of negativity. Yun. And yeah, yeah blessed talaga. So I, I, we also want to hear from the other brothers. No? So, uh, Doc Deeds, how, how, do how do you deal and cope with this time? Well, uh, find your support group. You gotta have a group and know that you're better together. I, as, as a doctor, I have a you know, I have a Viber group with doctors. We already curate what we need to read and watch and check mm-hmm. and sharing of best practices with industries, with uh, people, uh, with co-leaders. So you got to find your support group. Remember, parang walis ting-ting yan eh. Pag mag-isa ka lang, marupok ka. Pero pag pinagsama-sama mo yan, kahit madumi, may purpose pa rin, nakakalinis pa rin. So we're stronger together. Find your support group really helps me a lot. In the Feast, this is a fantastic support group. Very grateful for the leaders that we have, the servants that we have. Kahit wala na tayo, hindi tayo nakikita isa na sa live, sige pa rin. Nandun pa rin yung mga tao. People are still showing up. Our priests are still with us. Father Mike, Father uh, Albert, Father uh, Father Michael, Father Albert, and Father Bob. So, so grateful that uh, as a community, we are a support group. And you, my dear co-leaders, thank you. Yon, tama yun, no? Find a support group. Find people who will be there for you during these times. Napakalaga talaga yun. I really think that relate much dyan. Tony, maganda rin siguro to those of you who are watching this right now in the chat box. Itag nyo yung mga support group nyo, yung mga friends nyo. Oh. Ayan, shout out nyo sila. Magpasalamat kayo sa kanila because kami, no, as uh, your leaders no, sa Feast Bay Area District, we get to support each other. Nagkakamusta kami. Meron kaming group chat. And I agree with Doc Didoy. Talagang pinipili rin natin yung what we also consume. We protect ourselves not just from the virus, but also from, ayan, yung mga negativity, fake news, and so on and so forth. JC, so, highlight ko lang yung mga light group is much more relevant now. And the shows that we have in the district, especially the new ones that we're gonna come up with, that could be our daily support group. <laughs> Sama-sama tayo dun as a district na Walang iwanan, everybody shows up at magtulungan tayo. Kasi it's already a difficult time. We don't want to be difficult to one another. We want to be Jesus to one another. So. Yes, totoo yan. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Doc. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Tony. Grabe. Yeah, let's hear it also from uh, uh, Brother Lep. Brother Lep. Um, coping in this new normal, I think um, it's more of adjusting the situation. Uh, maraming nagbago but hindi naman ibig sabihin na magmukmuk ka na lang sa isang sulok dahil sa mga nagbago. We adjust. Tayo, we have that tendency na alam nyo yun, makabawi, bum- bumangon uli, no? Um, and sa nangyayaring pandemic ito, ang dami, ang dami. Nagulat ako. Even our servants, they were adjusting. Somebody who's working in corporate ngayon at dahil mahilig siya magbike, nagdi-deliver siya. So, ang galing. So, sabi ko, ang daming nag adjust ngayon. So, siguro that's one good way na natutunan ko rin na mag-adjust uh, to look more on the blessings na bin, sabi ni JB kanina, uh, look more on the blessings rather than focusing on the negative things that are happening. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Amen. Lev. Of course, we're very blessed as well because Brother Adrian Panganiban is here. Woo! Yes! Woo! 
Brother Good Adrian, day. we want to hear from you. Kayo po, kumusta, brother? How are you coping in this new normal? And anong lesson ang maaring pwede nyo i-share sa mga nanonood ngayon? Go ahead, Brother A. Hi there, uh, Brother A here. Uh, to tell you honestly, it was not so hard or difficult for me to really cope with the, with the new normal. Kasi uh, since uh, the lockdown, I don't know for whatever reason, I am more busy especially with all the domestic chores. Many say, uh, whatever is in front of me, I embrace them, I accept them uh, with open arms. Like uh, when you are locked down, what are you supposed to do? Uh, the things that you haven't done for years, for a long time, well, th this is the time that you really have to pay attention to them. Many say, I'm uh, ko kasi, I truly believe that uh, we should always see the good and the bad. Many say, if you really uh, uh, think that everything is bad, then you will absorb everything and you will act out autom automatically na negative and bad. Wherein, pwede mo namang ibahin eh. Ibahin in the sense na if you see something that is bad, you can look into it, transcend, look beyond of that situation. And I'm sure, you will get something out of it. Sabi nga ni Brother Alvin, mayroong maganda mangyari sa'yo kahit ano pang masama ang nasa harapan mo. So, so sa akin, uh, it was not really that difficult. I'm, I'm, I'm busier than ever. <laughs> Ako, ang anong pagka-busy ko noon, mas busy pa yata. Sabi ko, Lord, bakit parang hindi natatapos? But, first and foremost, what I've really learned from this uh, pandemic uh, period is that I have more quality time and quantity time not only for myself but for God. I Most of the time I'm on my knees. I meron akong prayer time like uh, as soon as I get up in the morning 12 o'clock I'm on my knees praying the rosary. 3 o'clock I'm again at my on my knees. 6 o'clock natatapos ko yung 40, 40 decades or 40 mysteries of the Holy Rosary now and uh, Oh, one more thing, brothers. Iingiting uh, ko lang kayo. Ah. The other day, <laughs> believe it or not, for the first time for the last four months, I was able to attend a live Holy Mass celebration. Wow. And where, where was this? In a convent. I was invited by a sister celebrity by the name, tago natin sa pangalan Giselle Sanchez, na, na discover niya na merong convent convent dito sa Quezon City where in sila sila lang very rare uh, very few of them and then she was allowed to 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 uh, attend the mass because kaibigan niya yung pare and then uh, when i was asking her kamusta siya and then she said that uh, walang nagbago nagmimisa pa rin siya every day sabi ko saan yan and then true enough i was there 2 days ago and i attended the mass for the very first time and it was really very moving in the sense that parang it's some sort of coming home. I'm a daily mass goer, by the way, for the last 20 years or so. And out of the blue, biglang nakat, biglang na stopped for the last four months. And that time, then when I was in the convent attending the Holy Mass, it was really like a feeling of coming home, coming to my father, going back to my father, and that with whom I really miss so much, especially during communion. I was given the host. I was. Uh, I had the taste of the host for the, for the first time after four months, and of course the blood. It was uh, bread. bread Shadow mo kami ginugutom, no? At I'm sure yung mga nawo <laughs> sa atin sila rin ay nagugutom, no? But uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure in in time as well, magkakaroon ng mga updates jan. But uh, thank you for inspiring us, most especially yeah. when it comes to loving the Eucharist and at least for now, no, through our feast online, no, we're able feast at home, no, we're able to bring that no to spiritual communion. Um, yeah. Amen. May mga other questions from others, pero we want also to hear no, from Brother Alvin. Brother Alvin, yes. ikaw, ka during this new normal? Anong lesson na maaring pwede at ibahagi sa mga nanonood ngayon? Go ahead, Brother Alvin. Up, unmute lang po natin, Brother Alvin. Go ahead. Yeah. Personally, like like all of you, I'm busier now. <laughs> no? Mas mas abala tayo because mas nawalan na ng ng, ng uh, division or delineation. Di ba? Kahit anong oras, magtotok ka. Kahit anong oras, mag-guest ka sa isang online show. Kahit anong oras, may pagdadasal ka. At uh, mayroong uh, nangangailangan na kausapin mo. 
Yet, I would always say that this is exactly why we are, what, what we are born for. No? Ito tayo, ito ang panahon for such a time as this. Dito talaga tayo kailangan kumilos at tumugon, lalong-lalo na tayo sa light of Jesus, mga preachers, ganun eh. meaning hindi tayo dapat magreklamo dahil di, ganitong panahon tayo uh, nasusubukan at ito ang ating misyon. So, and, and in a way, yun din ang pang-cope mo. Kasi imagine mo naman kung wala kang ginagawa, yung bising-bisi ka, tulad ni Adrian, tapos bigla ka mahihinto. Yun, di ba? Kaya, pero tayo hindi na hinto, lahat tayo eh. So again, aside from us continuing our mission, it also kept us occupied so that we don't have uh, much time to to feel sad or depressed. Although I, I went through that, ha? alam ni Dido yon mga first few weeks, tinawagan ko siya talaga. Tulad ng marami, ako din ay nag-alala at natakot. Pero alam mo yon sa dami ng ginagawa mo, makakalimutan mo ng mag-alala <laughs> at matakot. Lalong-lalo na if you're ministering to other people. no So, uh, Yeah, this pandemic has given us more chances, more opportunities to really play our our um, roles and do our mission. Thank you, Brother Alvin, of course. And excited din tayo no, to the direction that uh, we are excited to share to uh, the people who are uh, part of the Feast uh, Bay Area District. And ito, brothers, uh, I won't be able to encourage na talagang lahat makapasagot dito. Pero at least maybe I want to direct this question to Doc Didoy Lobato. No? Uh, most especially, how important unity, no? yung compassion, solidarity during this time. How has your Feast responded to this? Go ahead, Doc Didoy, share us the good news. We have the values of love and humility, and uh, that overflows with obedience, with responsiveness, with responsibility. Nakakatuwa po na we have a common adversity now with the COVID and with everybody's going through. So instead of fighting each other, we fight for each other, and uh, we go for the common good more than our personal good. And uh, I always say this to people, when we take care of ourselves, we take care of one another. So talagang uh, our our feasters uh, talagang nagsama-sama, talagang inalagaan ng sarili nila. And one good fruit for us is uh, uh, we were able to give significantly to our uh, weekly. Nag-start na siya ng fruit na hashtag the feast little acts of love and it has never stopped so far. And we have given more than a million pesos through the donations of people. And we just keep, kept it up. We gave the platform and people just kept on giving. And so special thanks to all of you who supported it. Thank you so much. Because hindi lang kami as the feast, but it's a district's move. Even, even you guys have donated. So thank you so much for that. Because ang ganda na, na naging responsive and responsible tayo uh, as our brother's keeper. So thank you so much. Amen. Galing. Galing. Doc Didoy, we're so happy to hear that We are really taking the initiative to reach out to the least, the last, and the lost. Pero gusto ka din marinig, gusto natin marinig how Brother Odi has been also initiating from his end on behalf of the Feast Bay Area District. We know there are a lot of movements under the Feast Little Acts of Love from Brother Odi. Brother Odds, like to share. Thank you, Tony. Um, we're very grateful that we have a lot of donors, a lot of faithful tithers who have been giving and blessing so many people. We started off for the first few months by giving a lot of support to mga hospitals natin, mga PPEs. So we were able to give to at least around 50 hospitals. Yan, sobrang, sobrang laki. It was a big blessing because it was, it was through the donation of so many donors. Not even just locally, ha, but also uh, international. Mga, mga nagpapadala, mga, grabe, mga Pilipino, mga feasters natin from abroad who, who I guess in a way feel our burden here and so that's what we did but a, a time came when medyo naging stable na yung hospital industry we moved our efforts to feeding the poor so far from at least yung 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 efforts namin from from uh, with brother bo yung yung sunday sessions we were able now to transition to feeding about 1350 families Um, sa Binangon and Rizal. We gave them a week's worth of food. So that is still continuing every single week. So uh, such a blessing to be able to help God's people through the little that people give. God is able to multiply that. Amen. And that's what the uh, hashtag Feast Little Acts of Love, of course, no? But what the uh, Feast of Bay Area uh, District, no? Uh, we have... Uh, The Feast Ermita as well, the, of course, Feast Moa, Feast AM, 
uh, we have uh, Vice Manila, Vice OPM, no? talagang nagtulong-tulungan. And uh, we really want to encourage you that uh, your giving goes a long way. And uh, wag yung panghinayangan. Bakit? Kasi nagagamit natin yan to reach more people. Hindi lang itong ating mga frontliners, mga special projects natin for them. At at the same time, also, we are blessing our Mercy Ministries. Now, from uh, what's happening no, with us and also our feast, ito, let's make it personal. Ito na yung kumaga encouraging me now, no, uh, the importance and value of prayer. Go ahead, Tony. Yes, and we all really believe in no, that we need to be selfless. Pero we also teach and preach here at the feast na before you can be selfless, there has to be a self that you take care of first. And I believe prayer and building a relationship with God is the first thing. So let's, I'm sure marami din nag, uh, going through their dry uh, desert uh, times during this quarantine uh, in their prayer life. Ang tanong ko lang is that how or where was there a time that you experienced that your prayers were not answered? And how did you deal with it? At kung sinagot kayo ng Diyos, how did he answer that? Yun, pwede isang bagsak na sagot. Let's hear it muna from Brother Philip. Bro. Pero yung naiisip ko ngayon, ang totoo po, dapat kapitbahay ko si Brother Alvin. Diyan sa may kawayan. At totoo lang po. Pero pinarenovate kasi ng mother ko yung, yung house namin. Diyan po sa area niya yan. So ang, ang nangyari ngayon, naudlot. No? And then, sad to say, inabot na nitong pandemic. So yung construction, renovation, and everything, huminto. Pero alam nyo yun, yung, yung tinitirahan namin ngayon na mag-asawa, it is nasa isang maliit na unit lang kami. And I was just praying to God, Lord, bakit? Ba't hindi mo sinagot? Um, yung comfort, oh, yung may baby ako, Lord. Oh, hindi mo nakita, parang yun, baka nakalimutan mo. Ito yung ganun yung prayer ko talaga kay, kay, kay God. But then I realized something beautiful. Yung pala ang plano ni Lord, um, hindi ako malayo dito sa family ko. Na nandito dito rin, same condo, different unit lang. So just imagine if nandudung kami um, sa may kawayan and nandito dito yung mom ko, ang parang ang hirap, may, may yung, yung difficult connection. So sabi ko, that's it. Actually, pinagplanuhan pala talaga ng Diyos. Nakikita ko kasi uncomfortable. Pero hindi, mas malaki ang nakikita ng Diyos dun sa sitwasyon na, na pagdadaanan ko. So with that, yun yung sagot ni Lord sa prayer ko. He said no because I have something better. Ganda. Go ahead, Tony. Grabe. Amen. Ang galing, no? Talagang at this very moment, when you're going through something like that, di mo makita kagad ano bang sagot ni Lord, no? But in time, in patience and endurance, makita mo may malaking plano pala si Lord para sa'yo for you and you alone. Grabe. And kanina, we've been hearing his sharing na nakapag-experience na siya ng Misa for the first time in four months. Brother A naman, are there times that uh, you felt your uh, your prayers were not answered? And how did you deal with it? At kung sinagot ka ng Diyos, paano? Promise this is gonna be short this time. Okay. Okay, that was a time uh, before the lockdown. I was kind of questioning the Lord. So I said, Lord, uh, it's nearing Holy Week, uh, recollections and talks and preaching here and there. But then how come uh, there are less invitations this time? That was before the lockdown. So I said, laos factor na ba? Or bakit wala mo invitations? And then I was kind of questioning him or medyo tampo na rin ako. And then before I knew it, lockdown is just around the corner. So we need to say, my learnings there is that uh, just put, uh, just to, uh, trust, to com- have a complete and total trust in God, surrender everything to God because He has greater plans for you. That's it. Thank you, Brother A. Ayan. And of course, we wanted to hear for all the other builders. No? Kaya nga, excited tayo that uh, we encourage them no? to stay tuned with our schedules, no? with this uh, uh, Feast at Home natin. Yes. No, at least we were able to hear them each, no, Tony, at uh, tuwa tayo, Ooh. nag-enjoy tayo, na-bless tayo sa kanila. But uh, we wanted to hear now no, from uh, Brother Alvin, uh, most especially, hindi lang naman yung sa tanong na yan, but that also includes, maybe he can also share his heart, uh, his dream for the Peace Bay Area, and uh, how we can support. No? Uh, and Brother Alvin, diretso na into a prayer yan. Go ahead, Brother Alvin. Kaugnay na din sa tanong na sinasagot natin, ano ba yung dasal na dinasal natin pero hindi pa nasasagot. Eh sigurado ko lahat tayo nagdadasal na matapos na itong crisis at magkaroon na ng vaccine itong COVID. Eh hanggang ngayon, wala pang sagot, hindi ba? Pero alam nyo bakit? 
Kasi mas maraming sagot ang Diyos sa mga dasal na hindi naman natin hinihingi. Halimbawa, mas marami tayong panahon ngayon sa pamilya. Tayo lang, mas madalas, it, isn't it ironic na kung kailan nagka-lockdown, mas madalas tayo nagkikita-kita. Abay, halos every week tayo nagmi-meeting, <laughs> nag-uusap-usap. Alam niyo yun, mga inaakala natin, hindi natin pinagdadasal, yun pala ang mas kailangan natin. At yan ang nangyari sa ating mga feasts. Hindi lang sa Bay Area, kundi sa lahat ng uh, buong Light of Jesus family, nagkaroon ng isang direksyon na hindi naman natin ito inasahan o hindi natin hiningi. Pero sa mga pagkakataon, at tayo naman mga Kristiyano, hindi tayo naniniwala sa nagkataon eh. Because everything works for the good of those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. Kaya tayo ay nagtiwala sa mga nakita ng ating mga leaders, starting with Brother Bo, na dahil ganito nga ang nangyari, sa una ang decision mo will be out of circumstance. Eh. ba? Diba? Wala kang magagawa, so mag-online tayo. Wala tayong magagawa kundi magsama-sama tayo. And then sooner or later, o nga, no, baka ito talaga gusto ni Lord. At hindi nga natin alam kung hanggang kailan na ganito tayong online, hanggang kailan na magkakasama tayo. But uh, dito, higit tayong, ito ang mahalagang nangyari na maaring hindi natin hiningi. Hiningi natin na mawala yung problema. Ang binigay ng Diyos ay higit na pagkakataon para magtiwala at manaling. Kaya saan tayo dadalhin ito? Pagkakataong ito sa ating mga feast at sa ating mga buhay, patuloy tayo nagpaplano. Pero bandang uli nito, we surrender to His will. Kaya sa atin, mga feast, sa atin, babalik ka pa ba, uh, Philip, sa SM Manila? Makakabalik ka pa ba, Didoy, sa MOA? Makakababalik pa ba kami sa PICC? Lalo't ginawang COVID facility yun. Ang, marami nagtatanong sa atin yan. Ang sagot ko, yung pinakapaborito kong sagot for 20 years, 30 years as a preacher, hindi ko alam. Pero ang Diyos alam niya. At sapat na yon. So we just continue doing what we believe the Lord is telling us. In the Feast Bay area, beautiful things are happening. Of course, we don't want to close our eyes and deny that uh, marami din tayo mga kasamahan, uh, tanggalan ng trabaho, nawala ng hanap buhay. We continue to pray for one another, nagkasakit, no? But again, may mga bagay na nangyayari tulad nitong pagkakaisa natin na banggit na nga ni Dido eh, next uh, Ju- sa by July sama-sama tayo may mga ministry events gabi-gabi. No? Kaya we're pulling all our resources together so that we serve no, uh, as as one. And uh, ginagawa naman natin noong pa yun eh, kaya lang ngayon mas lalong na highlight. So uh, we just continue to ask for the support of everyone, for the patience of everyone. Kami din po ay Uh, excited ng bumalik sa dati but again ako ngayon, tayong lahat ngayon mas excited tayo saan tayo dadali ni Lord and uh, we, we just uh, move in that direction so ako lang, pagkakataon ko din magpasalamat sa inyong lahat Brother JC, Brother Tony, Brother Philip Brother John Ben, Brother Didoy Brother Odi, Brother Adrian Doc Ryan no? na sa panahon ngayon we did what we had to do and what we believed Uh, God wanted us to do. And uh, kasama sa inyo mga leaders at mga servants. So let's just continue uh, but moving as the Spirit leads us. And uh, do you want us to pray now, Brother Jason? Yes, Brother, lead us into prayer. And after this, they're going to experience a powerful worship. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father in heaven, we continue to pray in faith, in trust, that this pandemic, this crisis that has caused so many things, lives, jobs, businesses, we, we, we know that this will come to an end. Alam namin, Panginoon, sa iyong tamang panahon na tamang pamamaraan, matatapos din ang crisis na ito at makakabangon din ang bawat isa. Pansamantala, nawa, ang aming hinihingi ay makita namin yung mga kasagutan sa panalangin hindi namin hiningi pero kailangan pala namin. Makita namin na mas lumalim ang aming relasyon sa pamilya, mas lumalim ang aming paniniwala at pagkapit sa iyo, mas nagkaroon kami ng higit na pagkakataon na maunawaan at dumamay sa aming kapwa no? at ipanalangin ang kahit hindi namin mga kakilala, lalo na yung mga nawala ng mga mahal sa buhay. 
at patuloy na manalig na ang mga bagay na hindi namin alam at hindi namin masagot ay ikaw ang nakakaalam at ikaw ang may sagot. Kaya sa lahat ng ito, patuloy kaming kikilos, patuloy kaming mananalangin, patuloy kaming magsusumamo sa iyo. Pero bandang uli, patuloy kaming susuko at maniniwala na mas alam mo ang mga bagay-bagay. At ang lahat ng ito ay mapapabuti dahil ang tagumpay mo ang huling salita para sa lahat ng ito. We continue to hold on to your promise and to your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Suffering and pain, take them away from my hands. But God, if this burden uncovers your plan, I trust in your ways, I'll take it away. Trust in your ways for the more than I pray.
conquered the grave and the cross and the We praise you and we thank you, Lord. And yes, Panginoon, not our will, but your will be done. And right now, we are surrendering to you, Lord, all of our heart's desires, whatever it is in our minds. Lord, there are things beyond our control. And right now, we're just entrusting to you our life. We're entrusting to you all of these things that, Lord, that we are worried about, that we are afraid. And we hold on to your promise, Lord. We hold on to your faithfulness that you've been so good to us yesterday today and tomorrow and that's why lord uh we will just go to trust in you and lord every aspects of our lives right now lahat po ng mga nonood ng mga listeners namin ng mga people who are following us and who are gathered right now uh give them that special blessing that they need come to their aid lord grant them the wisdom and just bless them lord and once again lord we're praying for unity we're praying that uh, we will be united in you, Lord, that there'll be unity in our families, there'll be unity uh, between parents and children, there'll be unity with our relatives, there'll be unity, Lord, in our communities, there'll be unity in our country and the whole world, Lord, most especially during this time of crisis. And this is our prayer, Lord, most especially if there are unspoken prayers na hindi namin nabanggit. Once again, Lord, not our will, but your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come on, let's give her the big hand. Let's just yeah. praise Him. If you want to celebrate the many great things that God has done in your lives and the many great things that He will continue to do no, in our lives, type there. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And yes, uh, Brother Tony, grabe. Grabe. So brabe. Amazing. Amazing. Ling <laughs> at... <laughs> yes, yes. Peace and mercy ni Lord today. Grabe. And pila pila rin natin ang siksik liglig at umaapaw na mga comments nila. We, we can oh, read oh, some of them. Grabe. Ayan, mga bumabate. Ayan, si Kai Morano. Ayan, nagsishout out siya. At syempre, mag-pray raw ng rosary online. Yon. Reading as well, the Nehemiah Ministry. Uh, ayan, eto meron pa dito si... Uh, may mga first-timers rin natin. So we want to welcome them. And again, our first-time ministry is after them. Sabi ni Mira, there are prayers which are left unanswered. But as Brother Bo and Brother Audi said, have a simple faith. God's will uh, will be done. Stay obedient in yes. prayers. Yeah. And uh, siguro, no, uh, as we continue to read, uh, Brother Tony, yung kanilang mga comments, sige, maybe you can choose uh, two or three. Go, Brother. Yeah. Sige, ang, ang ganda nito, we have um, here from uh, uh, Mary Ann Martinez. Sa YouTube naman siya ng comments. So nice to mm. see hear from the fathers and preachers may continue to be good leaders a good model to your respective flock god bless po and keep safe always thank you thank you sis marianne may mga nanonood din ngayon sa youtube no ang galing and uh okay we have here uh with from farina ermoy we will all bounce back and be victorious in jesus name amen yes, amen to that Sabi oh, niya, oh, mas malaki you. ang nakikita ng Diyos. God has greater plans for us. Di yeah. natin alam ang mga susunod na mangyayari, pero ang Diyos, siya ang may alam. Be excited yeah. kung saan tayo dadali ng Panginoon. Thanks to all our FBA builders. And yes, to, in particular, we also want to do shout out for Doc Ryan Capitolo. You may yeah. have not heard him because uh, Brother Ryan as well is uh, not more into words kanina. But actually, it's more on uh, letting them know that action speaks louder than words, Brother Tony. Bakit? Because oh. si Brother or Doc Ryan is one of the frontliners, no? At uh, yes. na 
kasamang lumalaban dito sa ating COVID-19, no? Kapag ikipaglaban. Ayan po. So, Thank you, Dr. Shout Ryan. Yes. Shout out Salaman to you. Yan. Maraming pang mga ibang mga comments dito, Brother Tony. But of course, no, we wanted to share with them this slide. Pakita natin. That uh, yes, let's continue to seek God. Unahin natin ng Diyos. Kaya kung gusto mong umunlad sa panahon ng krisis, unlad. Unahin natin lagi ang Diyos. Unlad. Ah, Sige, we can show that. Oh, uh, if we can show on the screen again our slide, no? Seek God, yun ang una. And then, pag nahanap mo ng Diyos, nako, Tony, huwag mo nang papakawalan pa. Diba? Kaya, pag lingkuro mo siya, serve God. And serving God uh, can be in different many ways, no? Of course, hindi naman kailangan full-time uh, preacher or oh. ministry or servant dito sa feast. Pero in their own special way, no, Brother Tony, they can serve sa pamilya nila. They can serve actually their work uh, place, no? Uh, they can serve the, the community. And uh, yeah. sometimes, even without the title, you can actually serve. Yan nga ang isa sa mga takeaway ko rin from Brother Bo, no? Again, from the interview that we had uh, yesterday with him, na siya mismo gusto niya mag-fade away, no? At na kahit hindi na ako maalala, basta ang mahalaga, nagampanan ko yung aking tungkulin. So, saludo po sa lahat ng mga servants natin, yes. sa feast, mga public servants as well, mm -hmm. and to everyone as well who's saying and yes to the call of service. And then finally, Brother Tony, surrender to God. Diba? Parang yung kanta natin kanina, not our will, but your will. But your will be done. Diba? Grabe. So pag nagawa mo na lahat na, diba? Ngayon, eh, ialay mo na sa Diyos. Yun ay may premise na may ginawa ka. Kasi ang mahirap, Lord, bahala ka na. Oo. Minsan, ganun eh. Diba? Kadalas yun ang ano na, parang bahala si Batman or bahala lang si Lord. Diba? Diba? wala tayong ginagawa for for anything to happen also. Pag we meet our limits, doon napapasok si Lord. Actually, God's always there, diba? Yes, yes. Kung baga, do everything that you can do in your own capacity. And then, yes, kapag hindi mo na, di ba, if you have done all your best, then God will give you. Tinawag ako na ako, di ba? Parang ganun yun, di ba? Pag kami mga pilabra, tumawag ka sa Diyos Ama, di ba? And tuloy-tuloy lang natin, Brother Tony, di ba? Seek, serve, and surrender to God, no? Kaya, ayan, tanong namin ulit sa inyo. Brother Tony, can you ask them this question again? Yes. Oh, oh. So for all of those watching right now, ano ang one big takeaway nyo at one big action action step nyo after hearing God's word today? Pwede nyo type niyo sa comment section, no? What is your one big takeaway this afternoon? Ako naman, Coach JC, my big one takeaway. Parang binaliktad ko na my one big takeaway. <laughs> is uh, talagang uh, na-strike talaga sa akin yung binanggit ni Brother Alvin, no? I mean, we cannot really know all the answers to life. We don't know bakit din nangyayari itong pandemic na ito, bakit ngayon pa sa taon na to, we all had plans for 2020, tapos biglang boom may COVID-19. And we're all asking still, bakit? Why? But the thing is, we can trust in God who knows all the answers. Di natin makita ang sagot ngayon, no? But talagang along the time, as we keep faithful, as we keep uh, patience and endurance with God, talagang I know somewhere down the line, you will see an answer to all of this. Amen. And we will continue to challenge you not just to have realizations, reflections, or takeaways, but what's your one big action step? Ano nang gagawin mo? Now what? Di ba? Natanggap mo ng salita ng Diyos about sa pagkakaisa na tayo ay patuloy na manalangin. So yun ang ating, kung maga parang, encouragement to everyone that don't just, kung maga parang, have your notes with you, but bring it into life and do something about it. Di ba? Kung gusto mong may mangyari sa buhay mo, dapat may gawin ka. At uh, wag tiwala ka na ang Diyos may ginagawa. Akala mo lang wala, pero meron. 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 meron, meron, meron. May ginagawa ang Diyos. At mayroong magandang mangyayari sa iyo. Yan. At speaking sa mga magandang mangyayari, Brother Tony, ayan. Let's announce ang uh, schedule na to, bro, Brother Tony. Yes, ito ha, napakaganda to. Kasi aside from our Taglish sessions, we'll announce again na next Sunday, mula next Sunday, we are going to have only two Taglish sessions. Isa sa umaga, 8 a.m. at isa sa hapon, 1.30. But uh, sa mga English sessions naman, sabay din sila with four sessions on a regular Sunday. 8 a.m., 10.30, 1.30 p.m. and 4 p.m. But aside from Sunday sessions natin ng English and Taglish, meron din Wednesdays with Youth Home sa mga kabataan na nandiyan ngayon. The youth that you know, pwede nyo din sabihin na sila that we have our Youth Home Ministry Wednesday 7 p.m. Reaching out to them. And Brother Tony, we pray for them because they're going through this Camp Cuarto. O, di ba? Yes. Dati Camp Cali, ngayon Camp Cuarto na. God bless. Camp Cuarto ngayon, di ba? God bless. We're praying for you. Kahapon was their day one. Next Saturday, day two naman. 
ang Camp Quarto 2020. So si Brother Mon Reyes ang magli-lead dyan. And on Friday naman, 5.30 ng hapon, si Brother Philip Sumera and Doc Ryan Capitulo with uh, brother, either Brother Bo Sanchez or Brother Alvin Barcelona joining them to give the message on a Friday. Saturday naman, 4 p.m. ng hapon, we have Doc Dito Lubaton with either Brother Bo Sanchez or Brother Alvin Barcelona to co continue the Word of God on a Saturday afternoon. So di ba, uh, sobrang jam-pack na ang uh, week uh, week natin. Pero Coach JC also to mention, no, we're going to have uh, ministry evenings uh, come July every night. no. Let's say Monday, uh, ang ministry evening is for mga young professionals. And then on Tuesday, we have for families and couple, youth mm -hmm. on Wednesdays. Ganun. So every week, Feast Bay Area will be supplying Exciting pastors. ito exciting talaga. Bro. Talagang maraming magandang mangyayari. And most especially, yeah, we want to emphasize it, no? my dear friends, to brothers and sisters, na kapag kami misa tayo, most especially Sunday, and actually even Saturday, meron po tayong celebration of the Holy Mass, the highest Holy form Mass. of worship. Kaya wag niyong <laughs> papalampasin yan. No? Of course, we have that opening worship still, and the talks that we have. At uh, next week, wag kakapatuloy tayo ulit ng ating best preaching ever na series, no, brother Tony. And of course, no, sinabi na nga natin na we have our new schedules for the Taglish, no, Sunday uh, sessions. Uh, 8 a.m. na lang po, no, July 5 ang simula niyan. And then meron tayong 1.30 p.m. as well, no. At uh, again, uh, ang pinakamahalagang mangyayari dito, Brother uh, Tony, is kung nag-enjoy sila sa kwentuhan ng mga builders, aba, kayo rin magkakaroon kayo ng pagkakataong may experience yan. No, pag-uusapan namin, mag meeting na po kami ng mga servants, no, with Brother Tony. Or now we will have that special Zoom fellowship, di ba? Yeah, Instead man. of zooming out, we are gonna zoom in sa inyo po, no? Right after every session. July 5 na po yan, kaya maghatak na kayo, no? Kung pang 8 a.m. kayo, solid 8 a.m. 8 a.m. na kayo. Pag 1.30 p.m., then 1.30 p.m., no? Then let's grow that. Let's be united in that particular session. And, yeah, ayan, Coach no, JC, of course. Din, no? Just to point out, na for those who are watching from abroad, no? Manila time po yan. Baka may mga yes. na sa ibang bar just to let them know, 8 a.m. and 1.30 Manila time. So we hope also to engage those from other places around the oh, world. Oh, yeah. marami. Marami tayong mga kababayan dyan, mga OFWs. No? Ingat po tayong lahat. At let's stay connected, stay protected. And of course, no, kung na-bless kayo sa Sunday Feast natin, Brother Tony, and to all those who are watching, we want to invite you, ayan, on a weekdays. No? Ito po yung ating mga online programs at radio programs na gabay sa Biblia, sa radio, ng Radio Veritas 846, because every gazing is a blessing. Ayan. At ito po ay Mondays to Friday. 5 to 5.30 ng umaga, Manila time. Ako po ang Wednesday edition. At kapag Sunday naman, it's 8 to 9 o'clock no, ng umaga. At uh, pagka naman po Sunday, uh, Saturday, we have the DZMM Teleradio Kape at Salita. Bawat umaga ay may panibagong pag-asa. At lahat po yan ay pwede nyo mapanood sa ating official Facebook page na The Feast Official. O kaya naman, ayan, The Light of Jesus Family. Ayan. And even yeah. before we pray for them, uh, Brother Tony, siguro, Baka may pahabol pang mga comments dyan. Sige. Anyway, tayo naman ang last session eh. No? So we want to acknowledge those people <laughs> oh. who have uh, been with us. No? Ito, sabi ni Mai, nasa tao ang gawa, nasa Diyos ang awa. Work awa. for it consistently, diligently, and ethically. Then God will do the rest. Diba? God, uh, let's give our best and God will do the rest. Yan. Yes. Meron ba ba, Brother Tony? Yes, from uh, Mira Molanida. Uh, may God bless all the peace builders, servants, and participants of the life Light of Jesus community, no? Yes, continue to pray for us. Alam nyo, hindi lang kami ni Coach JC mga, at mga co-builders or preachers ang nandito lang online. Pero every servant that is working behind the scenes to make this possible, they're helping us halos every day of the week just to make this content, this blessing of God's Word available to you weekly. Oh, ito, shout out na natin kagad si Adrian Silan ng buong araw oh, oh. din. No? Adrian Silan, <laughs> saludo sa'yo. Oh, shout out okay, sa ating yeah. mga prod at uh, tech team like si Jay Olaguer at si diba? Christian Jake Guaves. Ayan, happy Father's Day, Jake. At uh, ito yung people who are also taking care. At marami pang iba, no? Of course, yung ating mga engagers, first-timers, nakikita natin dyan, no? Talagang sobrang active sila. Parang ang tanong nga eh, first time mo, <laughs> tapos papasok na sila kagad, no? Oh, they'll take care of them. Yes, and of course, our social media servants din. Si Shelly, my gosh, thank you so much. And to all the rest uh, of the team. Grabe, grabe. Thank you, thank you. God bless you all. Yun, yeah, mga, uh, marami rin wow. pa, but definitely, ayan, may mga manonood pa, no? mga maya, hashtag team replay. Brother Tony, just wanted to share with them, of course, no, if they're blessed Ooh. as well by this, I'm also doing my 
mga events, online events. So if you wanted to become a writer and author, meron kami special event. This coming Saturday, uh, July 4, at uh, Saturday yan, Manila time, 10 a.m. to 12 noon, write and inspire online, creating impact and income at the same time. At kasama ko dyan ang mga best-selling authors at mga writing coach at mentors na si Karen Senya at si Elaine Factor. No, at the same time, the following Saturday naman, July 11, merong blog and inspire online. Eh? Gusto mo maging blogger, mag-speak mag online as well. So, ito ang uh, event naman. No? Nakasama ko si Felden Lim, isa rin sa mga builder natin, at saka si Erica at si Nino Ventura and we really want just to add value to you. So if you're interested, just get information. Mag-message lang po sa akin Facebook page na Coach JC Libira. All right. And of course, finally, Brother Tony, we want to invite them to continue the cycle of generosity because your giving goes a long way. Ito po ang mga different mercy ministries na ating nautulungan. At again, we want to really knock at the doors of your heart. Kung nabibless po kayo ng feast na to, magpapatuloy po ito kapag kasusuportahan natin. So hindi kami mahihiyang manghingi. Bakit? Kasi alam namin kung saan ito pumupunta. Ito ay sinusuportahan ng ating mga gastusin. No? Kahit tayo naka-online, there's still people that we also need to look after and take care. But more than that, it also blesses our mercy ministries from womb to tomb. So you can even check all of this no, sa ating uh, website. But at least just letting them know, dito nagpupunta po ang ating mga ibinibigay. And for their ways to give, ayan po, ulitin namin. You can take a screenshot of this. Union Bank, Team of Branch, account name, the builder of the Life of Jesus family, Mega Manila, Face Bay Area, Inc. Account number, 000-4000-24937. At ang SWIFT code natin ay UBPHPHMM. For check donations, you can write the Feast Bay Area. At muli po, Coach Chase Libian and Brother Tony and the rest of the Feast Bay Area District Builders, of course, with Brother Alvin Barcelona, from the bottom yes. of our hearts, Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbibigay. Your giving goes a long way. And we can never outgive God when it comes to His generosity. Kapag raw ikaw ay nagbibigay, Brother Tony, you are emptying yourself. At dahil empty ka na, aba, ready ka ng tumanggap ng siksik liglig at umaapaw na biyaya mula sa Panginoon. Amen. Grabe, brother. Grabe. Brother Tony, we want to pray yeah. for them now and for their giving as well. Yes, let's pray for your giving because when we give, God will always do His best to fill you up again. So that's why let's come before our God, in the, name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you always sa lahat ng mga biyaya for the providence, for the blessing, for the goodness that you are bestowing upon us araw-araw, Lord. Every day you are there making us feel and make sure that we see your blessings in the little things. Lord, right now, ang binibigay po namin to make your goodness even more known in the hearts and minds and souls of the people that we will touch, Lord. Itong little gift, Lord, no matter how little it may be, Lord, you will not reject a little gift. You will not reject a contrite heart. We're doing this as an act of worship to you, Lord, because you have been good. You have been generous to us this past week, Lord. You've been providing for us. Kite pandemic, Lord, there are blessings things that are happening all around us despite the storms despite negativity despite Amen. the the chaos that we seem to to be happening outside of our homes lord we know you're in control today we are declaring that even when we do not know the answers we know that you have all the answers in your hands so when we give lord we know that uh, we will overflow a hundred a thousand fold knowing that you are a god and you're a god who never forsakes even when we feel that there are times we are lost. We lift all of these things, knowing that you will fulfill all of our dreams, all of our needs in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, sa Lord, we Amen. Maraming salamat po. Muli, this is Coach J.C. Silibiran. Kasama ko si... Brother Tony Valenzuela. <laughs> Para sa Feast at Home Bay Area District. At ito ang Sunday Tagli Session sa nagsasabing mayroong maganda pangyayari sa'yo. See you! God bless you. Thank you all. Peace.